your verdict while you sat with your arms crossed Did your little reaction videos and talked over songs too Not Well Shutting haters up, feel like Kobe Bryant Bring on every finger, feel like Kobe Bryant I'll be selling out of arenas, feel like Kobe Bryant All time great, I feel like Kobe What's up guys, it's Doug and we are back today. We're gonna to be reviewing Kamikaze by Eminem. Was not expecting that one, but I'm glad that he did this. And uh, from the looks of it, you know, by the project name Kamikaze, it seems like he is coming in for the kill because people's reception of his last album was not good. So I am excited, you do not wanna piss Eminem off. He proved so to everybody on Chloroseptic Remix, where he basically took the earth, mushed it up, stretched it back out, mushed it up again, threw it on the ground, stomped on it. He's, I hope he does this for this whole project. For those of you who don't know, Eminem is my favorite lyricist of all time. Eminem is the reason that I fell in love with hip hop in the first place. Before that, I wasn't even a casual listener. I would just listen to like one or two songs that I thought were cool, that were hip hop songs. Um, and then I heard Marshall Mathers LP and that literally changed my life. It actually made me do my homework on other rappers and on the hip hop game in general and it made me start writing music and it made me want to do this um, myself, you know, and it really just opened up this whole new world for me. So Eminem is definitely very influential. You know, you, we've got one side of me that really is gonna try to be objective throughout this entire video because I definitely don't stand Eminem. I do think that his recent work has not been up to par at all with what he can do. But for some reason, the fact that he dropped this as a surprise, the fact that it's been so little time that he's been working on it, the fact that it's called Kamikaze, you know, it, it, you, he didn't put too much time in this. He didn't overthink it, which is what he said when he posted it on Twitter. Um, he just went with his gut and posted it. So I'm assuming this is gonna be really good and I hope I'm not let down. The first track is The Ringer. I've got Genius open just in case I miss something, as always, and uh, thank you all for being here. Add me on my social media, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like if you enjoy it. Let's just get right into it. I am super excited. Kamikaze by Eminem, let's get it. It's funny because I legit like just woke up maybe half an hour ago and my brother had sent me a bunch of text messages like, Doug, Doug, wake up, wake up, you gotta wake up. Eminem just dropped an album, you gotta listen to this. And uh, I literally got up, brushed my teeth, made some coffee, ate a sandwich, and here I am, so. I wasn't even gonna record this video. I I'm gonna let you guys in on something. I was gonna record a reaction today to XXX Tentacion's uh, question mark album because I've never heard it. That's gonna be tomorrow or the beginning of next week, I guess, because this, so. I punched the pearl in the fucking face right now. Let's get it. Yes. Yeah. He's pissed. Well, I'm sad if it ain't thinking about no bank account, but bitch, I'm off the chain like Jay LeBron. Oh. Motherfucker, shut the fuck up when I'm talking, little bitch. Oh my god. Okay, late. <laughs> uh, he is definitely very pissed off about the reception of Revival. Uh, which he's, of course, in the right to be pissed off about the reception, but also, uh, it wasn't that good, so. What could you expect? Attention the news, I mention you. Lose, lose for me, win, win for you. Yeah. Billions of views, you're ten cents of views. Skin through the music, you get shit reduced. You get clicks for audio. So I can see why people like Little Yachty, but not me though. Not even guessing it, this ain't for me. All I am simply is just an MC. Maybe Stan just isn't your cup of tea. Maybe a cup full of salt. Stan is one of the greatest hip hop songs of all time. At me, if you disagree. <laughs> but it is. It might be the best written hip hop song of all time, ever. Number one. Number one spot might go to stand. At me. Let's talk about this. Probably I will. Only kill and me. Watch him bleed again. I breathe on a mirror. I don't see my breath. Possibly I'm dead. I'm the fuck of my bitch. Oh my side, You wanna see I see, but it's cold as I get. Dude, his flow is impeccable. Oh my god. The concept of this album is basically F everybody and uh I'm on top, so I'm just gonna have a blast listening to this. There's really no other concept other than that so far, so. Fuck Sourpuss gonna get mad just cause his album sucks and now he wants to take it out on us. <laughs> Bigger bang, chicken wing, you can't, he can say, Lil Pump, Lil Zan, and the tank, Lil Wayne, I can name it out. Get number two and two on you if you ain't Jordan, if you ain't Kendrick or Cole, it's on and you're recording, I'm about to- Basically, these are just four really big rappers right now that are young that he respects. Something I'm, I, I don't agree with here is he's saying that people didn't like Revival because it, it went over their head and they didn't get it. No, people got it. It was just cheesy. It could have been executed in a better way. That's what I think. That was, that was awesome. That was just awesome all the way through. Every single thing he said was awesome. <laughs> this is just phenomenal. This is, get it, pun intended. This is really, really cool. I'm glad to see him this angry. 
This beat was absolutely fantastic. The switch up at the end with the strings was so filthy. Next track is Greatest, and I, uh... I wasn't ready, but now now I think I am. <laughs> Motherfuckers talking crazy, yeah. saying I should quit. Uh, I fucking tell them, me, bitch, you the fucking dead. Yeah. I'm feeling like the automatic, quit, automatic, stay straight up. Anything that makes sand, make great as I stand at the bay window with a hand grenade. Then it get goosebumps a day when you say there's something you're working, someone to love, and they thought you had them choked up, you'd be aching my chain. Feel like I'm headed for the bad and sell them. Bumps that are too high when platinum sales look bad as a failure. Yeah. So you sold to me and I was in. Yo, this is crazy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and one more thing I want to mention. What is your one dimension? I'm a monkey. Re Revival didn't go viral. Yeah. Bars are like bullets when I spit them schemes. That's why I call them M16s. Great. Awesome. Oh my god, that's so dope. <laughs> M16 is a gun. M for Eminem. 16, like a 16 uh, bar. Verse. Like a wedding band, you gotta be diamond to even climb in the ring. That's crazy. How does he come up with this stuff? Eminem, dude. That's two for two. Lucky You featuring Joyner Lucas. If I said it, then I meant it. All my life I won a Grammy, but I'll probably never get it. I ain't never had no trophy or no motherfucking ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. Beat selection has been outstanding. Oh my god. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. Still I don't have any manners. What? You got a couple of ghost writers, but to these kids it don't actually matter. Yeah. They're asking me what the fuck happened to hip hop. I said I don't have any answers. See the fact that he is using this flow is ironic because he made fun of everybody in the first track for using this same flow. So the fact that he's using it is almost to parody or to make fun of them in a way because he's using the same flow, but he's doing it so much better. <laughs> Yeah. I sound like a broken record every time I break a record. <laughs> Yo, this has been absolutely incredible. The lyrics, the the beats, the flow. The execution is crazy. And he brought back the Paul skits, so let's get it. Hey, yeah, it's Paul. Um, I listened to the new album. That's really a great idea. It's it's like, what's next? Kamikaze 2. Yeah, well, I think most people are going to like this album so far. I, I'm really enjoying it. I really like this. I have not heard Eminem this inspired, this motivated in a very long time. After Revival, it's like he's been on a tear. You know, so I think the reception for this project is going to be really good to see the person that made you fall in love with hip hop this inspired so late into their career is just really awesome. I just want you to be normal. Why can't you bitches be normal? Always gotta be so extra. And now she don't wanna see me with other females out. I tell the bitch to beat it, take the scenic route. She retaliates by trying to leave the house. Always gotta be so extra. Like a fucking terrestrial. Guess it comes with it. Both got hundreds of charges. Domestic disputes, but we've always swept it under the carpet. I leave a turn this entire evening to a motherfucking crime scene. Crime scene. Maybe I'm just too ugly to compete with you. Him, you weren't supposed to agree, you fucking bitch. Especially when you're the one cheated first, not then a stuff, Peter. Fuck, he'd have slut treated just like a drum beat it, complete it. And when I love you, but I hope you fucking die, though. And I'm <laughs> so, this is just a really fun uh, relationship track. Yeah, I thought it was gonna turn out where, like, at the end, he was talking about this uh, hip hop as if it were a female in a relationship with him, but no. This is really just him making a fun relationship song that he didn't really have to overthink or think too much about because it feels really loose and, uh, it's cool. 
I don't know how how it fits with the rest of the the project, but then again, he didn't really overthink the project, so yeah, I guess it just does fit. At the same time, it does kind of sound like a parody, you know, he's doing like the little bit of the singing while he raps. Who else does that? But uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, who else didn't he mention when he mentioned the four young rappers that he respects? You know, might be a reach, it might not be. But uh, yeah. Oh, yo. So I got your message, I wish you would answer the fucking phone. <laughs> uh, I was reading some comments last night about like what people are fucking saying about revival. And uh, yo, this Yahoo motherfucker, whatever the fuck his name is, that I literally said I rhyme rhymes with China. You don't understand I'm rhyming the entire fucking sentence, you fucking moron. Fucking lives in Michigan and I think I figured out his address and I'm on my way to a fucking house right now. <laughs> this dude's insane. You know, that's who he is. That's always been who he is. He's just always been really insane really funny he's got a crazy sense of humor that he just puts into these songs and uh and it really is unique you know no one else does it like he does so it's really cool to hear him going after fans who say bad things about him to try to kill him in their house i don't know that doesn't sound like it like it's cool but it is cool when it comes from him so <laughs> oh my god i'm having such a blast this really has probably been one of my favorite videos to record so far uh stepping stone i believe is the next track Yes, it is. Everything was totally new. We were globally huge, watching sales go through the roof. We wrote when we viewed it, onion having the soldiers included. I'm old to the homies who would count for no good excuse. He was so full of proof, told us know what to do. Talking about D12. I was going through my own struggles too, so I wasn't in no condition to be coaching us through. I'm a rent to wait this dirt. Nice. I forgot to make amends to all the friends I may have hurt. I never meant to use you all as my stepping stones. Talking to D12 in this track, and he's basically apologizing for leaving them behind when Proof died. The group basically fell apart, they weren't the same, and so he said that basically when they all went solo, he of course was already immensely popular at the time, and so his career just kept going up and up and up, and he had hoped that they all did the same, that all their careers would flourish and, and all that, but he didn't want to have to help them do it because he said that he wasn't in a position to where he could be coaching them, you know, Proof was like his greatest friend, so. What ended up happening was he, he says here, he used them as his stepping stones, basically, where the fact that uh, he didn't coach them to be better and only focused on himself helped his career to grow immensely and theirs to just stagnate and so he's apologizing to them for that which is really cool and honest and i think that it's it's really cool to see this this maturity in him you know because i thought this whole project was just going to be him bashing every single critic but no this is him kind of doing that and at the same time being kind of honest and using it to using the the looseness of this project the fact that he's just really going with his gut to be honest and open, so this is really, really cool to see. Happens, and we gotta be men. We got responsibilities, but we don't say how we feel. D12 on it, wish I could have did more to try talking you into coming up off, but I know it wasn't my fault, but part of it probably is. Another thing that I'm noticing, which is really cool, is that he was criticized a lot on Revival for using so many features, and here he's doing it all himself. We had a Joiner Lucas feature, which was, which was absolutely ridiculous and fire, but it's all been him. Blitz, you can already sense the climate is starting to shift. To these kids, you no longer exist. Went from raining cats and dogs in this bitch. So I guess they're just hard enough for this. To my part, as I can't say how sorry I am. This is not how I planned. Really cool track. Sad to see D12 gone, man. But uh, really cool that he's apologizing, that he's he's doing this, you know, and that he's acknowledging what happened. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we got a Royce feature. This is not a like featuring Royce to 5'9. No way. How come every Take Keith beat sounds like Look Alive? The pianos are all basically the same. But anyways, it's gonna be fire. That's how much we have in common. Yeah. That's how much we have in common. Oh. Open this mic, we're on it. Yeah. yeah. That's how much we have in common. It sounds like Look Alive because it's a parody of it, basically. He's making fun of the way that music sounds nowadays. Just the, the, the mindless rhymes in the beginning to the repetitive hook. He, he's parodying, so... That makes sense. I don't do Jordans and Audemars. I do explosions and Molotovs. Yo, Royce to 5'9 is one of my favorite lyricists also. He's absolutely insane. I just want to say that. Uh, Book of Ryan, if you have not heard it, I have a reaction to it. You have to listen to that project. The storytelling on that is unreal. The beats are all crazy. Cocaine is one of my favorite songs of this year. So, Royce to 5'9, props to you. I'm smoking some Yalit Wash. I 
blow the smoke from the car exhaust Flying to a party I am not invited to Feeling like the streets need me I ain't trying to figure out how to do Capri Styles and my key Everybody doing chick joints Probably buy these little dudes at this point Remember everybody used to bite nickel now Everybody doing Bitcoin we Nice, got the OGs proving that they do what people do nowadays Way better than the people that are doing this. Roll up with your gun. You gonna need an arsenal, cause this car is over your head. So you better have arms if you're gonna pull up. Ah! Oh, you run the streets, huh? Now you wanna come and fuck with me, huh? Only time your mother say I lost, you be talking about Betty Bob, better call Diddy. Just to try to get me off, and you better hope I don't call trick, trick, bitch. This shit don't fly in our city. Punk. Invisible with the pen, with the pinnacle, the sick individual. Stick on ticket with the tip and the minimum. I'm fucking these syllables. I'll let them look at my genitals. I'm a fucking invincible, indefensible, despicable, difficult, brick of the <laughs> He literally just proves that you could just rhyme anything over a really dope beat, and it would be fire. <laughs> uh, sponge, mob, colder, nun, rug, host a lug, nut, coast a lung, jug, coast a young, thug, post a unplugged toaster. Are you kidding me? Jeez. <laughs> this is really cool to hear, you know, them going off. Uh, it's just awesome. The thing about this album is, yes, he made a whole album talking about the fact that people didn't like his last album. It's kind of what people asked for after Chloroseptic Remix. Uh, when he put it out, everyone said, Oh my god, Eminem is pissed that we didn't like his last project. I hope he uses this as fuel to create another one. And he just listened, and he made this, you know? And he, he didn't put that much time into it. He didn't put ex an extreme amount of thought into it. He just released it, and it sounds awesome to me. I'm taking it for what it is. It's not going to be album of the year or anything, but it is going to be on repeat for me because although there's not much substance, it's really cool to listen to. It's fun, and it's it's really been enjoyable. Next track is Kamikaze. I'm a fucking kamikaze crashing into everything. You beat me Islamic Nazi, that means there is no such thing. I've been going for your juggler rap. Trying to stop me for I jump behind the controls and try to fly in the phones Cause I'm taking y'all with me when I go psych Shit's embarrassing It's me rare and need terror repair In my therapy chair My dick is the hair like the share Each note is the chair with the That's not the best track off this project That's not really Production wise it's just really goofy You know it's not really supposed to be taken too seriously But I just I think the hook is kind of annoying um, which is, it's supposed to be, though I get that. He's crashing into everything like a kamikaze, he's just going all out, he's going balls to the wall, coming for everybody. And uh, I have a feeling, you know, that I really think that he's coming at Drake a lot on this project. Uh, specifically taking uh, the sample of Look Alive and parodying it, talking about, you know, uh, or, or kind of like rap singing on a couple of the songs, uh, parodying, parodying what Drake does mentioning four young rappers that he respects and not putting Drake in there, talking about the fact that he only says the hook if he wrote the hook, talks about ghostwriting all the time. Right here, you got some views, but you're still below me, mine are higher, so when you compare our views, you get overlooked. You know, I really think he's coming at Drake a lot on this project, uh, which is, it makes sense, because nobody on earth is more popular than Drake is right now. So he's coming at the very top, uh, which is probably why. And uh, it definitely makes sense. But I think that this song is just, I, I probably wouldn't listen to it again. I'd skip it because I think it's kind of annoying, but I get the message. I get the reason that he made it. And I get that it's supposed to be annoying. So, this is Fall featuring Justin Vernon. Maybe it's time I tell them what I think about them. the creator that I, I, I'm not aware of what happened between him and Tyler the creator did he say something that he diss Eminem or something like that because I don't know why he came at him like that uh, the fans waited for this moment like that feature when I stole the show sorry if I took forever so again <laughs> he took and that's a Drake song he took Drake's song from Drake so that's a little jab at Drake again I think <clears throat> Why did he come at Tyler the Creator? Let me know. After you wait, you're running for you. You check this on my half. The fuck, the fuck, what a corkscrew. Just love the doctor order. Revenge is the best medicine. Increase the dose from least the most and then tell the Grammys. Nice. 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 Nice.
don't really even care. Crazy, dude. Go off. He said he inspires Hobson, Logic, Cole, Big Sean, K Dot, Royce the Five Nine, and he brought the world Fifty Cent. <laughs> That's a crazy track. Uh, again, let me know why he went off on Tyler the Creator and uh, yeah, nice guy featuring Jesse Reyes. Uh, totally unnecessary. That track, I'm gonna pretend like it wasn't on here. I didn't like that track. I think the feature was really annoying. I, I didn't like her verses. I, I don't know. I, 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 Nah, that track's not for me. From heroes to villains, used to be yo, but we yo, but we both were jilted a couple of times, so we had a slippery slope to dip. To be a housewife who outright lies, she's blackout drunk, now she's backing out my drive. I ran outside while being replaced by him. Got your tubes tied for him, got that boob job for him. Hurts me to my core, but the pain I'm in. They'll call me guilty, you bought the jury, they'll call me guilty. That was a cool track. Uh, I like the beat. I think that the beat is really simple. I think it's really cool, though, the way that it's so, you know, understated. It's not a bad song. Nice guy, I just really didn't like. Good guy's okay. Uh, it's definitely worth a listen, if you're gonna listen to this entire thing. Uh, this is the last track. It's called Venom. A raw deal set you off till you scream, piss off, screw you when it talks to you like you don't belong. So I like the production on this track, I think it's really gritty, I think it's grimy, it definitely fits with the theme uh, of the movie, it's definitely dark, you know. Um, I think that the chorus is a little bit too long, nothing too insane, really cool rhyme schemes, really cool, uh, really cool flows, um, pairing a couple of the, the references from the movie with the references from his own life. Uh, talking like he's the Venom. I think it's a really cool track. This project is definitely interesting. It's definitely worth your listen. Uh, I'm glad he didn't announce it and create any hype for it because that would have made this a little more disappointing. Uh, I'm glad he released it as a surprise. It was the perfect way to roll this out. Upper half of this project, the, the first half of this project, is probably the better part of it. Uh, let's say until... Actually, the first eight tracks. After Not Alike, the only track that I probably would have kept was maybe, maybe Good Guy. This could have been eight, nine tracks and it would have been perfect, really, but uh, that's my opinion. Now it is, it does lack substance, you know, it's really just an album where he goes at everybody who criticized him. But I wanted that. That's exactly what I wanted from Eminem. It's an album where he's just really pissed off and he really just comes for everybody's throat just because he can. Because I know that he can do that. I like hearing him do that. So uh, it, I got what I wanted here. I got a couple, I got a little bit more than I asked for, you know, with tracks like uh, Kamikaze, you know, Nice Guy, things like that. A couple of Paul skits, were, which were really funny. Uh, you know, it's just fun. It's a fun listen. Uh, it's nothing too stupendous. It's nothing outrageous. It's not like you have to listen to it But if you're an Eminem fan uh, Or if you miss hearing the old Eminem and you just like hearing Eminem go off on people listen to the first couple tracks It's definitely a really fun listen. I had a blast listening to it and uh, and seeing you know one of my favorite rappers of all time Excel because you know, he needed a couple really good songs after Revival. He needed for people to see that he can still do this. And so, 
I enjoyed it. I don't think it was anything special. I don't think it was too crazy, but it was cool. It's definitely good. It's a good project. It's not bad at all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the project. If you haven't listened to it, go check it out. And uh, I hope you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be back next time with question mark or I don't know by XXX Tentacion. Let me know how to say that. How do you pronounce the title for that album? <laughs> uh, I'll see y'all soon. Peace.